Hi everyone. Welcome back to the Slipper Sock Tutorial with Marie. I'm your host for the Sit, Sip and Knit. We will be finishing off our slipper sock today with our final tutorial. Uh, we will be learning the Kitchener Stitch. Uh, like I said, my name is Marie, and if you are seeing this for the first time, there are other tutorials out there. So for those of you that want to learn how to um, make a sock for the first time, we did it on worsted weight yarn and also used the Flexi Flip Needles, um, an easy way to learn to do socks. You can go back and watch those tutorials. I think this is tutorial number six or seven, I'm not sure, but it is the final one. Like I said, you will be doing the Kitchener stitch and then you should have a final slipper sock. Um, welcome to anybody that is new and thank you to those that have followed along with this. I will um, would love to see any uh, finished socks that you have or any comments. I would like to do a giveaway to anybody that would comment with their finished slipper sock. Um, you can do that below. Um, and also I will put out my um, email address so that you can go ahead and email me there if you like. Um, but anyway, so uh, I am back from Florida. The last video, that tutorial that you would have seen, Rick and I were on vacation. I'm still, I don't have to go to back to work yet. It is Thursday. Um, so I still have a couple days off, but I have my coffee in my Florida mug here, as you can see. Um, but grab what you want to drink and follow along with this tutorial to finish up your slipper sock. Also, I'd like to say before we start, uh, I am going to be doing another podcast with, I think I have three finished objects and also the slipper sock will be finished, but um, look for that in the next day or two. All right, I'm going to have my cameraman come around and we're going to learn the Kitchener stitch. Okay, so for finishing off your slipper sock, um, from the last tutorial, you should have done your decreases on both sides of your sock and gotten down to 10 stitches per needle, 10 here and 10 here. Um, I went to the beginning of round marker um, if you finished off the row, that's perfectly fine. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take out my beginning round marker here. We won't need that. If you left it in and finished the row off, that's just fine. But I'm going to go ahead and knit to the end of this row and show you what we have here. You should have, okay, we're just going to knit to the end there. You should have finished your decreases. Like I said, you would have 10 stitches on this, this needle and 10 stitches on this needle. And then we're ready to close off the toe. Let me show you here on this finished sock. This is the Kitchener stitch. As you can see, it is a continuous um, stitch, knit, um, stocking net stitch here. It produ produces a nice, lovely, um, seamless, type of um, connection there and that's what we're going to learn okay and for that you will need a uh, darning needle this one I like this one with the bent tip um, some of them come just straight and that's fine if you can get the bent tip that's perfect okay so that is your darning needle you're going to need that all right now we're going to go, you see I still have my um, markers here. I'm gonna take those off, we're all done. This is the front of my sock here. This is the back with the heel on it. All right, it doesn't matter whichever way you, you finished, you're just fine as long as you have 10 on this needle and 10 stitches on this one, okay? Um, and what you're going to do, you're going to have your working yarn on the back needle here. Okay, so we have two needles together, 
your back uh, needle has the working yarn on it. You're going to go ahead, grab a pair of scissors here, and you're going to cut about, I'd say, um, to, I don't know, about a foot and a half or um, about this um, amount of working yarn to be able to weave through your stitches here. Okay, so about a foot and a half um, length of yarn. All right, so you're gonna go ahead and thread that through your darning needle like this. All right, okay. All right, you're gonna hold these two needles side by side like this, okay? Your working yarn is on the back needle right here, okay? Now, there is um, a, a couple ways to do this. I follow the, some people do a setup round for the Kitchener stitch. I learned that you don't have to do a setup stitch. Um, I start my Kitchener stitch all the time this way and I end in a different way. There was a tutorial. I will, uh, actually, I will link it in the notes below on how to do Kitchener stitch without dog ears. They call it dog ears. Um, sometimes when you do Kitchener stitch, you get little points on the end of your uh, work here. But doing it this way, you don't get those dog ears, okay? So this is how I do it, okay? I don't do a setup stitch, okay? So if you um, are watching some tutorials that say do the setup, um, I skip that. Uh, like I said, I'll link the one I follow below in the, in the notes below for you. Anyway, okay, so you're going to have your yarn coming from the back needle, all right? You're going to work in the front needle first and then move to the back needle. It'll be front needle, back needle, okay? So this is what I say to myself. I go ahead and pull the yarn to the front here, all right? I... You're going to knit, okay? You're gonna come in with your darning needle as if to knit and pop that off. You're not gonna knit. You're just gonna go in as to knit, pop it off. And then on the second stitch on the front, you're gonna go in as to purl and pull your yarn. See that? Okay. Now on the back needle, you're always going, now you're going to work on the back needle, okay? On the back needle, you're always going to come in first as if to purl with your darning needle. Let me push my stitches up here. Come in as to purl, pop it off. Go in as to knit on the second one and tighten that stitch, okay? And that's going to be our repeat. Now, let me show you here, all right? So, front needle is always going to be go in as if to knit and off. Go in as if to purl and keep on, all right? Back, back needle, reverse. Go in as if to purl, off. Go in as if to knit and leave that stitch on and pull it. Just pull to tighten a bit. Okay? I don't know what's going on there, but it'll be fine. All right. So this is how I say it to myself, okay? I would go knit off, purl on, whoop, and pull. All right. I lost my needle. That's okay. All right. So on the front needle, I did knit off, Purl, leave it on. Back needle is go in, purl off, knit, and leave it on, and tighten. All right? Front, knit off, turn your needle, purl on. Okay? Back, purl off, knit on and tighten. Front, knit off, purl on. 
purl off, knit on. Don't lose that stitch. Okay, got it. Okay, yarn back here. Knit off, purl on. You're not really knitting and purling, you're just going in as if to knit and purl, right? Back is purl off, knit, and leave it on. Okay, let's do that again. All right. Front is go into knit off, turn it, and purl, and leave that stitch on. Back is go into purl off, go into knit, and leave it on. All right. Back to the front, knit off, purl on. So you, you get a rhythm, okay? The back is purl off, knit on. Okay, now you have four stitches left, same thing. We're going knit off, purl on, purl off, knit on. Okay, now there's different ways, like I said, to do Kitchener. This is the way I learned so you don't have dog ears. Okay, it's a little scary, but you're gonna pop those out and pull it tight, okay? And when you open this up, okay, you can see it's a nice knitted um, connection there. All right, so hang on. I'm going to, I have that sock. I also have this one here. We're gonna do that again for you, okay? So I'm gonna make sure I have 10 stitches on this needle and 10 on this one. My yarn is in the back. I have my length of working yarn here. You don't need too much, but enough so you don't wanna run out. Okay, I thread my darning needle. Okay, push the yarn up to the end, to the tips, all right. My working yarn, again, is in the back here, let's see. I'm gonna to come to the front, okay. On the front, you're gonna go knit off, purl on. Opposite on the back, purl off, knit on. So if you rem if you'll say that to yourself, that should help you, okay? So, knit off, purl on. Okay, back needle is always purl off, knit on. Okay, front needle is always knit off, go in purl on, back needle, purl off, knit on. Okay, Oop, yep, knit off, purl on, purl off knit on just the opposite right front is always start out with a knit off purl on back is always purl off Whoop, going this way knit on okay front is knit off purl on you get into a rhythm, purl off, knit on, and pull it. Maybe pull it a little bit tighter, don't be afraid, okay? Front is knit off, purl on. Back is purl off, knit, go in knitwise, knit on, and pull it. Front, knit off, purl on, back is purl off, knit on, okay, so we have three and three, all right, front is knit off, purl
purl on. See how I just turn the needle and grab the next stitch, purl off, and knit on. Okay, now I have four on. All right, knit off, purl on, pull it. Back one is always purl off, knit on. Okay, I end up with two stitches on there. I'm going to pop that off. I know it looks a little scary. Pull it. It looks like you're going to have a dog ear there, right? But let me show you how to, to, to take care of that. When you open it up, you can see you have continuous stitches. Looks like I didn't pull very tight there. You can, don't be afraid to pull, but um, blocking it will, will actually help that. All right, so now here's how what you're going to do to finish this off. Put your hand up in the sock this way, right? You have your yarn here. Okay. All right, so here's where you finished. You're going to pull this up. Do you see where this yarn is coming out here? Okay, it's in through these two stitches right here, right here, here, and here. You're going to come down with your needle right back into that back stitch. You're gonna pull that needle through to the inside. That's a little tricky. See how I'm pulling that? Pull tight. You pull tight, you won't have any bump there. See that? Okay. All right, so I pulled it to the inside. I want you to flip your sock inside out right like this go ahead and pull that tight oh boy look what i did here i went through the... okay we got it hold on okay so i pulled that tight i'm going to put my hand up here into the sock right and you're going to weave in your end all right you're going to pull that tight now this is the front of the sock this is the foot of the sock with the heel right here, right? Best to weave in. You're not going to see it, honestly, you won't. But um, so you don't have any lumps or bumps underneath where you're stepping, best to uh, weave in along the top edge of your sock here as opposed to the back edge where you're going to step, okay? So all you're going to do is come in here and weave in like you would do any other weaving in, okay? I just go ahead and pull, right? And I just work in with these, take your time and just work in, pull in your stitches, um, however you weave in ends, okay? Just come back through here, go through those little smiles, weaving it in, See, and just keep going. I weave in about a couple inches and then I'll go back, back on my, on the, um, here, let me just go a little bit further here. I'm sorry, I don't have my bifocals on, so it's a little tricky here. But anyway, just keep weaving in and maybe for about two inches and then turn around and go back the opposite way. A lot of times um, I will split my yarn like that and weave through whoop, just to snug it, snug it up a bit. But you can tell, you can't even see where you're weaving that in, right? So you're going to do that, weave that end in. You would have your uh, the beginning um, here. Just go ahead and weave that also in. Let me show you how I weave that in. The beginning one. Okay, I just go ahead and what I do, I come in this way. Remember the sock's inside out. So I'm weaving on the inside of the sock, really. Okay, like I said, I'm sorry, I don't have my bifocals on. But on my ridge here, I will go ahead and weave down the row like this. There I go, losing that. I guess I didn't leave enough tail, but anyway, that's enough. 
See how along the um, the two by two rib here, I just go down the rib this way. You can't even see it, even on the inside or on the outside. I'll just keep weaving in down like this. All right, so that's what you wanna do. Just weave your ends in. Let me turn it inside out here. And you should have a wonderful, once you block it, toe. Let me go ahead and show you here. See that? Once you put it on your, your foot, you have a nice finished edge there. All right. So please, like I said, I'd like to give out prizes for anybody that has finished the tutorial. Please message me below, put a message below, a comment below, like and sub make sure you like and subscribe, put that message below, and I will be giving out some prizes to anybody that um, has finished their slipper sock. All right, and again, um, the next couple days, look for uh, my regular um, podcast to be coming out, and I just want to tell everybody, happy knitting. Thanks.